Well, hi, this is Custom Works. I'm Clint Allen, and today's Tech Talk, we're going to be talking about diesel, kerosene, and engine oil, and where not to put it. A lot of Tech Talks are what happened in the shop this previous week. Well, we, we, we don't go out looking or advertising for service work because we're basically custom rebuilder, but we do take referrals and I had gotten a call from a guy who we redid his truck four years ago, said that his son has a F-250 and he was having problems, ex extreme serious problems running in the cold weather. So, you know, brought him on in and uh, did some questions and got some answers. Well, he's been taking his engine oil, running it through a rag and pouring it into the gas tank. Don't do this. Also, kerosene uh, lately, uh, and this has been over the last couple weeks, have been kind of popping up here and there uh, with uh, runnability issues in other people's trucks that I've gotten emails on or phone calls on. Let's start with engine oil first. Yeah, have your 7.3 or 6 liter or whatever diesel motor and you drop the oil in it and you've seen some dumb on YouTube saying, hey, filter it out, put it in your gas tank, your diesel tank, your fuel tank, whatever you want to call it, all right? No, <laughs> don't do this. You will complete, I don't care if you have a 2022 diesel truck or you have an IDI from you know the early 90s do not put oil in your fuel tank it has got all the contaminants from the diesel exploding and shooting through back into the oil and all the contaminants you got small items that uh, I don't care what kind of engine you have and how well you take care of it you are always going to end up with metal in the oil. I don't care how well you filter it. It is not going to come out. You are running all that crap through your injectors and you will wreck your filters. You will wreck your up pump and you will wreck your injectors. Uh, kerosene. Kerosene has no place in a fuel tank of a diesel. It is a completely different makeup. It does not have any of the lubricosity that is required for diesel engines. It runs substantially hotter, and that is heat is the killer of diesel engines. So do not be putting kerosene in replacement of diesel. Uh, diesel fuel. We'll hit down on that real quick without getting too technical here also. Diesel fuel has been flooded over the last few years with biodiesel, which is whatever crap manufacturer got a hold of, did some pressure filtering and some additives and some other crap that they threw in there. And all of a sudden, it's supposed to be a diesel fuel. Now, some of you are in states where you have no choice. Now, one of the reasons why I do not have problems with our fleet is because we use premium diesel. And the places that we go to and get that premium diesel does not put any biodiesel in it whatsoever. Biodiesel... If you live in a hot state where you don't have to deal with temperatures that, you know, dip much below 40, and if it does, it's, you know, just a rare situation, yeah, you're going to do okay. 
um, you're still going to clog up the injectors and shorten the injector life. But if you live in a cold state, <laughs> you are really going to mess up your injectors using a blend that has high biodiesel in it. And it's gotten to the point where it's gotten so dishonest where they'll put on the pump that, well, you know, it's anywhere from 5 to 20 percent. Well, I'm here to tell you, these are corporate companies, and it's probably more than 20% that's going in there because, you know, the corporate greed. It's my suggestion to you that I know it's more expensive, but you are paying for what you get, even though there's some of them out there that have said, oh, you ain't premium diesel, you know, you're just getting ripped off. No, you're not. There's a reason why premium diesel is more expensive. It does have better lubricity in it. It does have less biodiesel in it. Or if you go like I did and you ask the owners of the fuel stations and find out what companies carry zero biofuel diesel and use their premium diesel, the truck runs better, the injectors last longer. Um, it's not uncommon for me and my fleet to have injectors last 500, 600, 700,000 miles. Uh, matter of fact, well, I had uh, one uh, 2000 F350 that it made 900,000 before it started to have injector issues changing the oil regularly, putting in good quality diesel fuel. So I hope you've learned something today and you take it easy and you have a good day.